The idea of polymers was proposed in the 1920s by Hermann Straudinger. Today, they are used in almost everything, from shopping bags, to water bottles, to clothing, to kitchen utensils, to medicine, and even in explosives. A polymer is several monomers joined together to create a long chain. There are two classes of polymers, natural polymers, which are, as you might have guessed, naturally occurring, for example, DNA and proteins. In terms of proteins, the monomers are amino acids. The other is synthetic polymers, which are derived from petroleum oil, are man-made. An example of a synthetic polymer is polyester. In this video, we will be looking at how polymers are used in fragrance carriers. In other words, how we increase the life of our volatile fragrances to create a better, long-lasting product. Just like polymers, flavour and scent are found in many things. Perfume, candles, laundry detergent, deodorant, essential oils, shampoo and conditioner, and in our food. As I've already mentioned, fragrances are volatile, meaning they have a low boiling point, thus often evaporate and diffuse quickly. This leaves manufacturers with a problem. Although they are able to produce a lovely smelling fragrance, the customer will be left disappointed as it only lasts a few minutes. The solution was for the manufacturers to come up with a process that allowed a controlled release of these smells over time to increase their longevity. The solution they came up with was the use of polymers. Polymer carriers, which encapsulate the fragrance in their shell and through external stimuli, release fragrance in controlled ways, thus prolonging the scent experience. Encapsulation is when the fragrance or drug, in some cases, is surrounded by a polymeric shell protecting the fragrance from evaporating. This shell can then be broken and the fragrance released by the desired external stimuli. For example, changes in temperature, visible or UV light, changes in pH, or, like in the case of deodorant, the presence of water. So how are these capsules formed? Well, there are many ways they can be formed, depending on the use of the eventual capsule. A common technique in trapping fragrance, however, is interficial polymerization, a type of step growth polymerization. There are many receptive ends on the polymer for the monomers to attach themselves. These dimers, trimers and polymers can also attach to each other, forming even longer polymer chains. Step growth polymerization is significantly faster than chain growth, where there is only one receptive end with the monomers added one by one. In interfacial polymerization, the polymerization occurs on the interfacial layer between two immiscible, usually liquid phases. The two liquid phases are finely dispersed oil droplets and an aqueous phase. The fragrance is contained in the oil droplets whilst the monomers forming the polymeric shell are held in both the aqueous phase and the oil droplets. These monomers then react on the interface of the aqueous and oil phase, forming the shell encapsulating the fragrance. This type of encapsulation can be adopted to form capsules of varying dimensions, most importantly micro and nano sized capsules, commonly used for fragrance encapsulation. 
The size of the capsule is dependent on many factors, including the surface ten tension on the liquid enclosed and whether the particles are too large or too small to enter the nose. Many properties of these shells, including rigidity, melting point, hardness, brittleness and permeability of the capsule wall, are from the effect of the cross-linking. This is caused by the formation of covalent bonds holding the polymer chains together. These covalent bonds are also what is broken when the capsule is exposed to external stimuli. Here are now some examples of polymers used and the fragrance or the use for it. Polysulfone has been used to encapsulate vanillin. And polyurethane urea has been used for encapsulating fabric softener. This is still a highly researched area of encapsulation to increase the control over when the fragrance is released. What I have explained in this video is only a small section of this area. So thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.